So with benefits like that, shouldn't more cities try to keep business stealing, dollar stealing mega chains out of their neighborhoods? Let's ask Austin Peterson, chief executive at Stonegate LLC and editor of the libertarianrepublic.com. Austin, welcome back. Thank you, Tom. So the good citizens of San Francisco say there are two reasons why we would like to have local coffee shops instead of Starbucks, local retailers instead of Walmart, local burger shops rather than McDonald's. Mm -hmm. First reason is more of the money stays in the local community. Uh, with Walmart, every night they push the button and all that money goes like that and goes to Bentonville and six multi-billionaires become richer and San Francisco becomes poorer. And the second is we kind of like the look of our town, particularly a tourist town like San Francisco, looking local, not looking like every other city in America. Mm. When the majority of the voters, this was a citizen initiative, it was mm. a democratic, small d democratic process. Mm -hmm. When the majority of the voters say, this is how we want our city to be, why would you not want to respect that democracy? Well, it's probably one of the best arguments against democracy. You know, Karl Marx said that democracy leads to socialism, and socialism is slavery, as uh, uh, Lord Acton had stated. But the problem here is, is that when you look at uh, individual rights, I mean, business owners have rights, but the problem is, is you're only thinking about the local businesses. You're not thinking about the local consumers. No, I am. But the I am. The no, local the, no, the but consumers here's the thing. the people who but voted remember, but remember, to say, this consumers, is the Consumers, when they go to a Walmart or another store, they get 15 to 20 percent lower prices than they get at a lot of these, uh, the other local the stores. The local consumers voted for doesn't this. doesn't matter. And, and well, the it does if you believe yes, in does. democracy. Individual I mean, rights I trump that, collective rights. I get it that you don't believe in democracy. That's right. So if you're going to have a decision-making process, mm -hmm. if a local community gets to decide things, mm -hmm. and they don't do it democratically, yeah. You're suggesting that that decision should be made by the over, six billionaires who own the Walmart Well, I'm suggesting it should Walmart be overturned family? by the court. The court is the anti-democratic institution, one of the most important institutions that we have. It's supposed to be anti-democratic because democracy is, of course, tyranny of the majority. And if you look at our president right now, you can see what the tyranny of the majority has given us, someone who's about to go in and start killing more civilians in the Middle East. That has nothing That's to democracy. do with democracy. <laughs> and if, if, and if Congress votes for it, then, yeah, you'll say that democracy was not a good thing. So democracy, you're, you're, so you're saying democracy is a bad thing and you want to replace it with the courts. Well, I think representative so, democracy is fine. Who is, dis well, representative democracy, uh, who is sitting on these courts in San Francisco that you want to make this decision? Well, you know, you've so got you the, ninth, court dis you have the ninth District Court, of course, and so they're probably not going to turn something like this over. And I do believe in localism. There needs to be localism and things like that. And people need to have a choice. But I think that the but business, don't but the business that why choice. don't the business owners have a choice? Why is it that the voters, who probably never shop at the stores anyway, ha are the ones who have to make the decisions? It, you know, it's just like, it's just like with smoking in bars. Genuinely. You know, it's like 90-year-old women who never smoke. They, they're yeah. going to vote if, against smoking in bars, but they don't even go to the establishment. So why do you care about their opinion? Let people vote with their dollars. Genuinely, the people why why people should have a voice. It's because no, they do have a vo voice. They can either choose to go in that store or they cannot go in their store. The dollar is more powerful than a vote. No, that that is the absolute opposite of democracy. And this is the problem with libertarianism. It's the it's the problem with your entire philosophy. It's that whoever has the most dollars has the most votes. Whoever has the the most dollars gets to run, run things. That basically what you're saying is that Walmart and and Starbucks should be able to destroy local businesses, no. run them out of business. No, and, I'm saying the consumers should be able to destroy local business. The they should be able to run them by, out of business. They, they don't, Through a democratic no, process. It doesn't matter. To say, we don't want those businesses It doesn't here. matter. If 99% of the people said that we should kill 50% of the people, then 50, or then then that's what would happen. You have to understand, democracy is a tyranny of the majority. We have a check on democracy there, for a reason. The courts are there to overturn the, the possible uh, tyranny that would come through any we're democracy. We're not talking about killing people. We're well, talking we're, about You're talking about killing businesses. businesses. Businesses operate within the parameters that are defined by local communities. Period. Always. Well, well, yeah. Are you are you trying to tell me that, for example, that the that the, the local businesses in San Francisco should not uh, comply with fire codes? Uh, well, I'm saying that I wish that, that we didn't have as many codes. That they shouldn't have to comply with health codes. That, well, that I, if there's cockroaches running around the kitchen, that, that the consumers have no right to know that. The I think that business should owners should. I think business owners should be forced to bear the burden of the cost of doing business. That doesn't mean that you have to come in and say this is what the cost of doing business is. If central planning had worked, then the Soviet Union would have never fell. This is not central planning. This is yes, simply it is. the people saying the people of the community right. saying we would like to know that when we go into this restaurant, mm -hmm. there's not cockroaches in the kitchen. Well, how come those people aren't smart enough? enough to just not go into the restaurant themselves and not frequent or stage a boycott. Yeah. You have okay. to go to the ballot box and do full use force. All right, we're 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 flat. Out. We're, we are out of time, and I, <laughs> right, but I no, we can't be out of time. 
No, the right, people bring it on, are, Tom. Bring it on. Yeah, no, it's it's very simple. It's the very people, important to say that the people are gonna are gonna simply gonna every that the responsibility should be that every single person goes in and says, okay, I'm gonna look in your kitchen before I decide to, to eat here. Mm -hmm. This is stupid, frankly. Oh, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the community well, saying something. these are the standards. Remember Upton Sinclair, the guy who wrote the Jungle, the where they passed all those the health safety these regulations. Are the he was opposed which. to all of the regulations that the government was trying to pass. That's afterwards. irrelevant. So why That's is it irrelevant? Really? That, to say that what you're saying is that the people should not have the right to say we want to have this kind of restaurant they and we want to have right. these kinds of they standards. They do. They have the right to do that by saying I choose to frequent this establishment only, or not to frequent that establishment. Only, only what, by but the what dollars. Citizens, but what and, citizens and don't, again, what what citizens don't have the right to do is the to go votes. and go to their elected representative and ask them to do violence on their behalf. That, this has got nothing to do with violence. Yes, it's it does. Because government is forced. Kitchens or, or giant corporations eating Well, I would rather be exposed to the inconveniences of too much liberty than of too little, Tom. Yeah, like death. Okay. Thanks a lot, Austin. Thanks, Tom.